All right, so let's get right into it. Um, what fight do I want to see in 2021? I know a lot of people are not going to disagree with me on this, but Jorge Masvidal against Kobe Covington. Now, why? Do I really have to tell you why? Both these guys are ex-training partners, ex-roommates, ex-best friends. And since uh, Kobe Covington had put the persona of the bad guy, he had got a lot of ex, uh, a lot of uh, his teammates like having problems with that. That's why he left ATT. They were saying he was fake. Um, and it all leads back to Masvidal. Both these guys used to train together. Both these guys have the dream of uh, winning the welterweight championship. And yeah, so this fight has to happen. Now, I'm going to push it a little bit more further, saying that the best way to have more eyes on this is having Masvidal and Covington as the coaches in the ultimate fighter. Now, just imagine that. Just all the, the um, trash talking that's going to be going on. All the animosity that's going to be going on, that's going to hype up the fight. And the competitiveness, just having their team trying to win the other guy's team and pretty much throwing each other under the bus right before the fight. So, yeah, I think the best thing to do is have the ultimate fighter, have those two guys be the coaches, attract all type of eyes that you can towards this fight, and make this fight happen. Now, the question is, how is this fight going to play out? Because we've seen Masvidal. He he fought um he fought uh Kamara Usman on a couple like I think it was a week notice and Usman was able to finish him. He was able to grapple him, hold him against the fence, stomp out his feet, but he could not let go of Masvidal just because he was worried about Masvidal striking. Now the question is, is Kobe Covington gonna do the same thing? Is Kobe Covington just gonna hold him against the fence? Or is he gonna be Kobe Covington that we all know that he just likes to put a lot of volume, just start punching, going for the takedowns? Or is he gonna risk that and risk getting tagged by Jorge Masvidal, which we know his strong trait is his striking. And again, just having them on the ultimate fighter would be insane, but the question is, how would this fight play out? There's a lot of things because, like, we go back to them being ex-training partners, them being each other's cornermen. Both these guys know each other's strengths and weaknesses. So what's going to happen? If you like these breakdowns, make sure you look at the other videos that I have and subscribe now to our MMA420 YouTube channel, now on Instagram at underscore MMA420 underscore.